So you're thinking of moving to the Oklahoma City Metro and you're looking at some of the suburbs and you're wondering what is the best suburb of Oklahoma City? My name is Kinsley Hauser and I'm a local real estate agent in Edmond, Oklahoma and its surrounding areas. Whether you're looking to move in 10 days or 10 months, I would love to be able to work with you and help you on your move. I love getting to work with people every single day and just like all of you, find your Oklahoma homes. Please don't hesitate to reach out to me. You can give me a call, text, email, DM. You can schedule a Google Meet. There are tons of ways that we can get connected so that we can help plan a smooth move for you. So like I said, in this video, I'm going to be walking you through three of Oklahoma City's top suburbs. These are some of the most popular. These are gonna be some of the suburbs you hear the most about. And with each suburb, I'm going to just tell you a little bit about it. The population, the average home price, maybe just some stuff that you might find helpful if you're thinking of moving to Oklahoma City and you're looking at some of the surrounding areas. So the first one on my list is Norman. Norman has a population of around 128,000 people. This makes it the third most populous city in all of Oklahoma. Now Norman would not be Norman without the University of Oklahoma. The University of Oklahoma is housed within Norman, which brings a lot of excitement and a lot of entertainment to the Oklahoma City Metro. When you're looking at the school in Norman, the ratings for Norman schools is an A minus. So this looks at things like teachers, diversity, college readiness, academics, a whole slew of things. And when looking at all of those, it was given an A minus. When you're looking at the homes in Norman, the average home price is around $243,000. A fun fact about Norman is that the National Weather Service is actually housed in Norman. And a few kind of fun things about Norman, besides having the University of Oklahoma, you also have Thunderbird State Park, which is a beautiful park. And you also have the historic downtown. The downtown of Norman is really a cute and a fun and exciting downtown. And so there is a lot to do in Norman. There's a lot to see. And I personally like Norman. I like some of their shopping centers that they have. They're very clean and very inviting and it just looks very kind of upscale. And so I like a lot of parts of Norman. When you're looking at the crime rate of Norman, it is 14.7%. And so that again is taking into account a lot of different types of crime but overall a 14.7%. So overall, I know Norman is a great place for a lot of people. A lot of people love Norman. They love being so close to the stadium. They love going to games. And so overall, Norman is a great place to live. The second suburb I want to talk about is Nichols Hills. And this is kind of a city within Oklahoma City itself. So I don't know that you can necessarily call it a suburb, but Nichols Hills is a very little town, again, kind of in Oklahoma City. The population is under 4,000 people and the average home price is $900,000. This is definitely one of those areas that has a higher price for housing. You have a lot of luxury homes in this area. You have very large, very impressive homes. And when you're looking at the school, Nichols Hills actually falls within Oklahoma City Public Schools. So overall, as you're looking at that school district, it has an average of a C rating. Now, I believe a lot of the schools that feed in from Nichols Hills tend to be a little bit higher rating than a C, but as you're looking at Oklahoma City as a whole, the category is C, and so if you look up those school districts, that's probably what you're gonna see. But again, some of those schools specifically that Nichols Hills feeds into probably are gonna have a little bit of a slightly higher rating than a C. Some of the things I love about Nichols Hills is that's where Trader Joe's is, and so if you wanna to go to Trader Joe's, there's one in Nichols Hills. They also have the Class and Curve Mall. They have Grand Boulevard Park, and so there is a lot of stuff kind of within Nichols Hills that is cute and unique. There's a lot of good shopping, kind of some of more of that higher end luxury shopping you'll find in Nichols Hills. And as you look at Nichols Hills, it only makes up about two square miles. So it, again, it is a very small section. Not very many people live in the city of Nichols Hills. And again, the home prices are higher than what you're gonna see everywhere else So that I'm gonna talk about. A fun fact about Nichols Hills is that they have the best Christmas lights in Oklahoma City, in my opinion. So we love around Christmas time, Everybody will do their lights and they look super pretty and just driving around and seeing all the different houses and seeing the pretty Christmas lights. And as you're looking at the crime rate of Nichols Hills, it is 26.7%. So it's on the higher end of what we're gonna talk about today. And the last suburb that I wanna talk about is Edmond. So Edmond is where I live. Edmond is primarily what I talk about. I do sell real estate 
in kind of the whole Oklahoma City metro, but Edmond has my heart, and so I had to include it on the top three suburbs, and maybe I saved the best for last. I'll leave that up to you. Some interesting facts about Edmond is the population is around 95,000, and this actually makes it the fifth most populous city in Oklahoma. The average home price is $337,000, so it's more than Norman, but it is less than Nichols Hills. And as you're looking at Edmond, you definitely across the board are going to see higher home prices, but there are still some houses. Again, this is the average. So you do have houses below this, you do have houses above this. As you're looking at the school ratings, and if you've watched any of my other videos, then you might know that Edmond is split up into two school districts. You have Edmond Public Schools, on the central to eastern and you have Deer Creek Schools more on the western side. Edmond Public Schools has an A plus rating. Deer Creek Schools actually just has an A rating, so without the plus. And that's looking at things like college readiness. It's looking at things like academics, administration, a lot of different factors that play into that score. But overall, these are the highest ranked schools, at least that I've talked about in this video. In Edmond, there's lots to do. You have Mitch Park and Hafer Park beautiful parks on the western and eastern side of Edmond with lots to do, different playgrounds. Mitch Park has the YMCA at Mitch Park. You have Kicking Bird Golf Club, you have Oak Tree, you have Gallardia, you have Rose Creek, all of those that have golf courses. So if you're into golfing, there's a lot of golfing in Edmond. And Edmond does have some universities itself. It has the University of Central Oklahoma, which is home to, I believe, 14,000 students. You have Oklahoma Christian University, which has around 2,000 students. So two universities in Edmond, but by no means does Edmond feel like a college town. There are parts of Edmond, especially as you get more central and you're closer to UCO, that it might start to feel more college-like, but as a whole, it definitely does not give off that feel. There's also Arcadia Lake in Edmond, which is a great addition to Edmond. Really a beautiful place to water ski, go on the lake, on a boat, kayaking, paddle boarding, camping, hiking. There's a lot of stuff around Arcadia that really is just a bonus to Edmond. Edmond has so many new developments and it's a lot of people moving to Edmond, a lot of new developments taking place there, but there's also a really cute historic downtown. I love going downtown and eating, but there's also in downtown, they're trying to add and kind of revamp some of the spaces to make it more accommodating for families. And so really there's a lot to do in downtown Edmond and I think it adds to Edmond as a whole. And the crime rate in Edmond is 12.7%. So it's the lowest of all of the places that we've talked about today. And so as you're looking at these three places and maybe even some other suburbs that I didn't talk about, one thing that is in common to all of them is that they're all pretty close to Oklahoma City. You can get to the heart of Oklahoma City from any of these within, I would say, 30 minutes or less. All of them are pretty quick commute to Oklahoma City. Each town has their own pros and cons. There's things that Norman has that Edmond doesn't. There's things that Edmond has that Nichols Hills doesn't. And all around the board, there's definitely pros and cons to each city. And so my suggestion is just to find the city that works for you. Look into each one. If you have specific questions that maybe I didn't talk about, call me so that we can talk about some of your questions and kind of talk through which one might be the best for you. I work in all of these cities. I am open to the whole Oklahoma City Metro as far as helping you find a home and helping you plan your move. But do not hesitate to reach out to me. I would love to sit down and just work with you and have a chat with you about your move and if maybe Oklahoma and any of its suburbs is right for you and maybe which suburb might be right for you depending on your situation. I hope this video was helpful. I hope that it provided you with value and I will catch you in my next video. Thank you.